this is the road we come in on. Look at that. Yeah. No, we're lost already. <laughs> we're going to fucking die out here. We're not. Oh, well, I don't think we are. Fucking I'm still breathing. Not. I can hear myself. She's doing a good job. I've got to tell her that, otherwise she'll stop. It's not fucking boot camp. My legs are jelly and I can't bloody move. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, for fuck's oh. Why are you going past me to say you're in front of me? No, I don't really care where I am. <laughs> I just want to be safe at this stage. It's... Do you want to go back down? Oh, my freaking lordy lordy. Yes. <laughs> Why didn't you have to have a think about that? Oh, look, it's... Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your head. Look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Okay, here we are. Where are you? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, no, you're here. Here we are. We are in a corn, South Australia. We're about to go down the street to have a little bow peak, aren't we? We're actually we? down the street. Well, Isn't we've... <laughs> Yeah, Thought just up was... around the corner here a little bit, sweetie. But we're coming up to the main street here, aren't we, babe? This is the main street on a... Um, what day is it, babe? Wednesday. Wednesday. So... Someone's We've got to be careful we don't get run over. Careful <laughs> we don't get run over? <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Do, you, just do saying. you really need to hold my hand? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit busy, babe. A bit busy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> bowl of bloody bowl and more what? street. Okay, so we've just passed the main street. Kim almost got run over by the only car in town. <laughs> That's railway station over there. You thought I'd be safe without holding my hand. Yeah, there's the silos over there, babe. Right Look out, there. there's a car coming. Whoa. Down at Down at Barra Barra somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, these silos are not painted. Well, they're supposed to be painted. Well, where's the light show going to happen? Well, I don't know, but we'll have to find out, won't we? Maybe it's on the other side. What? The paintings. No, it's not. Or maybe to be they the... just project stuff onto yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. But might not even be the silo. Well, it's we better go and ask. It's meant to be the main street, so. No. Maybe oh, they maybe they project stuff on it. And we'll bring our little fold-up chairs that we haven't got and sit and watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just bring the chair off your bike? <laughs> okay, so here's the corn the railway station. Now apparently we've got to go here tomorrow, don't we, babe? Yeah. Yeah. So they tell us. Okay. We're in the sun. Rightio, so we're up and about early this morning, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Early for Kimmy Russ while we're on holidays anyway. 906. 906, and we've had breaking everything. Because we're going down to get our tickets for the Pitchy Richie Railway, aren't yeah. we, sweetie? Yes. Rusty's dream ride. Yeah. And this is the day we got today. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. It's going to be 21 degrees today, so not too hot, not too cold. That's where we had a tea last night at the Transcontinental Hotel. And there's the boat. Kwandong Cafe. The Kwandong Cafe up there. We just had brekkie up there. But we're going down here now to get our tickets, aren't we, babe? So Port Augusta's that way to the left. Hawker and Lyndhurst is that That's way. That's the way Daryl told us to go. Daryl and the barrel. Down Daryl and the barrel told us that, didn't he? Yep, down hey? Hawker way. Yes, OK. Look at this, guys. Right in the middle of town, there's a heap of wallabies. Pretty good, aren't they? Hey. Hey. They're cute. Yellow-footed rock wallaby. And I reckon they're probably found up through the Flinders Ranges, I bet. I can't be bothered reading it. In the area of Warren, Bakaringa and Middle Gorge. She's good, isn't she, eh? She's good. She knows all this off by heart. I know. I've right. studied. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. You were the, um, the hotel last night. Yes. Yes, we next to you. Yes, you were. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So, enjoy your journey. A boarding at 10, uh, 10 o'clock, 10. leaving at 10. How'd you go, babe? We got two tickets. I can hear our train, sweetie. Do you know who those people were? Who? <laughs> the people that we were <laughs> mealing with last night? Yes.
This historic railway line has been progressively restored and operated as a working museum since 1973 by the dedicated volunteers of the Pitchy Ritchie Railway Preservation Society, offering full or half day trips between Corn and Port Augusta. This is the last remaining operating portion of the old Garn railway line. The Pitchy Ritchie Explorer a steam train used in South Australian railway carriages, some dating from the 19th century. Corn to Woolshed Flat, return two hours. Okay, so there's our loco. It's just hooking up in the bay, bay. Yep. So we're about to go on board because we've got our tickets, haven't we, babe? Look. Yep. We've got our tickets for that train. And there's our Car page. number 90. That one there. So you're just inside the door, those just there. seats there. Right, Thank cool. You. Thank you. So we're on board, aren't we? It's a clackety old train. The what? It's a clackety old train. It's, it is a proper steam one though, isn't it? Yep, yep. and we have a, an extra engine, so then they had to go uptown and find another person that's qualified with a license to sit in that engine. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's not going. Yeah, yeah even though it's not <laughs> operating. <laughs> We are at Woolshed Flat. This is where we stop and we start to head back. Isn't it absolutely beautiful, the ranges, babe? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. There's a lot of people train spotting today. Yep. No trains coming, babe? Well, not. That engine will probably be going. Oh, they've got to do a turnaround, don't they, or something? How do they turn it? I don't know, but that's what the, they okay. said. I don't know what happens. Okay. 
We'll soon see, won't we? I think it was like you said that it takes about half hour or something. Right. Something like that. We got toilet refreshments and toilets here. Let's go, babe. Before everyone gets here. Yeah. There's 180 odd fucking people here, so we don't <laughs> want to be at the end of the line, do we, babe? No. Okay. So we're at Woolshed Flat. We turn around here, the locomotives have gone to turn to hook back up to take us back the other way, haven't they, babe? Yep. And we're gonna have a little bite deep. We've got, show them what we got, babe. We've got a, um, little, got a little... We've got a little brownie in there. And what have we got here, sweetie? We have the traditional... Uh, traditional pasta. Oh, look at that. Yummy, 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 yummy. Are you hungry? Oh, yeah. I hope you are. I had a big breakfast though. You had a big, you had a big train ride though, didn't you? Oh, I did. It was a big train ride. <laughs> okay then, guys, look at the line. Isn't it an absolutely beautiful backdrop though, babe? It See? is. It's lovely. Here we go. He's coming around. <laughs> Okay, so here are the carriages, that's the Flinders. We're back there in number 90. Here we go. Look at it. And all there two girls. How's it going there, Kimmy? Hi. How are you? Are you enjoying your ride? It's lovely. It's lovely and it's a beautiful big, day too. Richie Richie Railway. Yep. Okay, so this is our cabin. That's our light fixtures. No lights on today. We are in cabin number 90, right there. And it's not a very noisy cabin, is it, babe? No, it's pretty empty. <laughs> as long as I shut my mouth. Long, yeah, now you heard that. As long as she shuts her mouth. And this here is the other end. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, see ya. <laughs> so, that's it for our Pitchy Richie train ride, isn't it, babe? Yeah, that was cool. Yes, it was good. Okay, so Kimmy Russ Adventures, we're on a bit of a health kick at the moment, aren't we, babe? Yep. Until, what's the time, babe? 2.23 at the moment. For a couple of hours anyway, then we'll get stubbies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're out and about and we're going for a walk up through to Warren Gorge. And look at this. Yes, everybody. Kim, Kim, look at this. She's parked on gravel. No, Rusty didn't go out the road and get it, did he, babe? Ooh, jet behind you. <laughs> did I? No, no, I drove it in here. Drove it? Rode it. You rode it in. <laughs> and she even come through this. Yep. Anyone would call that a creek if it had water in it. <laughs> yeah. But she would have still would have come through it, wouldn't you? Yeah, this is the road we come in on. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's the road that's bad. we come in on. Yeah, she's full of it. We come up through there. See where it says grid? All we got to do now is get her out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coming up around here. Uh, give it all, babe, and drag the fucking ass in. Drag it you. out. <laughs> Rightio. Yeah. What we got? No camping, no fires. Right, Walker's Knife. Length. Loop trail, level medium, length 5.2 kilometres, time allow one and a half to three hours return. Hmm. You don't seem excited now. We've got a t uh, tea booking at quarter to seven. Right, okay. Is it is it hard? Well, no. we went through one gorge there, it's got, that's a gorge. Yeah. Just got it. But then they got, you can keep driving up. Yeah, to there's get a, to another couple of car parks. There's a campsite and everything down there. Oh, well, we're nowhere near it. There's just one gorge, but must be others along the road. No, we're lost already. <laughs> now, the, the bikes are just there, but we're lost because we went the other way. Some people, old people come back. You might have seen them on camera. And they're a bit lazy. They're driving down to the next car parks. Yep. Now, Rusty had enough trouble getting Kim in the first car park. <laughs> So do you think Rusty is going to get her to go down the next car park? Probably not, eh, babe? Probably not. Probably not. So we're going to go for a walk around this way. And look, if we see something, we see something. We're still exercising, aren't we, babe? Sure are. But it is a very nice area. You reckon you could have got your bike up here, babe? I don't know. I'd be pushing, I reckon. Look, there's an arrow on this post telling us to go this way. Yeah, I reckon those yeah. old people had the right sense. What? Look at this track. 
She's right, she's a goat track. She sucks a bit when it gets to heels. Don't you, babe? Have you got the appropriate footwear? Not really. Oh, I got my hiking boots on. Have you? Yeah. I think we'll be right going this way. I know one thing for sure, Russ is going to take his head out on this tree. Just don't stop because the flies will eat you. Those, those white things, uh, watch out, I'm fucking low. <laughs> okay? Warning. Warning, I'm low, babe. I'll get under that. Yep, I reckon you will too. Just about. Oh. So she takes her head off on the way through, guys. <laughs> you know, uh, easy for her. Yeah. I'd have been. Holy like, crap, how far does this uphill go? Uh, it's a five kilometre round trip, they said, remember? Are we up the top yet? Oh, are we up the top yet? Are we, we at the go. top? Here we go. No, <laughs> not up the top, babe. We're into it, aren't we? Yeah. We're mountain climbing. We're mountain. We're goats today. Look at this, guys. Hey, look Goat that. track. Yeah, no, it's steeper than what you think, isn't it, babe? Bloody hell it is. Yeah, yeah, she'll tell you that anyway, so don't listen to that. <laughs> that's, my, that's my babe back there. She'll tell you a load of fucking shit, don't you worry. Um, I heard something. Yeah? Someone that's been up here for weeks and got lost. We're going oh. the wrong way, babe. Oh, I know. Doesn't matter. No matter. Where's this track go? Up to some lookout. I reckon this is a fairly good lookout. What? This is a fairly good lookout. Yeah. It's going to be hard getting back down this goat track. 4.8 kilometres that way. We should have bought water. Fucking hell, we're going around the side of a fucking mountain here. Huh? We're going around the side of a mountain. We're going to fucking die out here. We're not. Oh, I don't think we are. Fuck I'm still not. breathing, I can hear myself. What? Huh? I can hear myself. What? What can you hear? Breathing. Are you panting? Yeah. Okay. Holy crap. We still gotta go up there. Yeah, we gotta go up there, yeah. <sighs> We're going up there. Really? Really? What's wrong? What's really? the matter? We gotta go up there. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we'll, we'll hit the top, Tweety. How about you go up? You're the one with all the cameras. Yeah, no, I'm carrying everything. Okay. That's it, you tell them. Yeah. What time did we leave? Well, um, 2.30 something. What's the time now? Um, 2.36. Right, okay. We've been travelling for six minutes. Well, I think I we've think. actually been travelling a little bit longer than that. I think she's exaggerating now. That's where we've come from, guys. Look, we have, on fair and we're making an effort today, aren't we, babe? Where did we come from? Look at the valley, will you? Holy shit. Oh, my God. I didn't realise we were up this high. Oh, it's beautiful. Now you're going to have to hold my hand. I'm not holding your hand. Oh, it's scary. Oh, I have to leave you there. It's freaking scary. It's not scary. It is. Don't look down, babe, unless you start rolling. I'm fucking trying not to do that. Sometimes it's an effort, you know, guys. You think if they made the effort to put a track in, they could put handrails? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> handrails here is not going to work, really. She back there, so yeah. She back there, guys. She's doing a good job. I've got to tell her that, otherwise she'll stop. Ooh, yeah, oh, what, babe? Yeah. Just yawning. Oh, well, you're going to sleep going up here. I forgot to yawn when I woke up. 4.6 kilometres back to where? And so how far is it to the top? Oh, I don't know. I know one thing is, I don't know. we'll get back to town and they'll say, you went the wrong I fucking think... way. What you saying, babe? What are you saying? I said, whoopee-doo. Whoopee-doo? Yeah. About what? A little decline back there. Was it? I like this one. Yeah? What do you do? I just need a little rest, okay? It's not fucking boot camp. Oh, can I have a look? Oh, fuck. How am I going to get back down there? Oh, my God. The same way you got up. Walk. Yes, I know, but it's scary. I have to look ahead then, which is looking down. The views are probably going to be spectacular. Or not very good at all. Well, 
How about you go on ahead and tell no, me about no, it? No, I can't do that. Then all we've got to come all the way back and take you all the way back up. Will we get a track on the way back or do we have to come back this way? Uh, no. For what? Um, no, I think we're on the roughest part now. Huh? You believe me. I think we're on the roughest track now. Don't know about this, we might be flogging a dead horse, babe. I think so. I really think we are. Of course you would. <sighs> oh, for far out. Oh. <sighs> I think you need to have a look on Google Maps. What well, for, babe? To see where the fuck we gotta go, because I'm over this. <laughs> We're almost up the top. What? We're almost up the top, I think, babe. Oh, fuck. I'm sort of stuck here. My legs are jelly and I can't bloody move. It's all in the head. Oh, oh, this is dangerous. Well, it looks fairly... It looks like it's only not far up around the corner of the top. It's really dangerous. What? It's getting dangerous. Why is that? Because my legs are like jelly and they can't move. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's oh. sake. Fucking hell. Oh, my God. I just don't think this is an easy track. Don't you? No. They didn't say it was easy. No. We're not experienced to do this. Aren't we, sweetie? Why? Because it's ridiculous. Why are you going past me to say you're in front of me? No, I don't really care where I am. <laughs> I just want to be safe at this stage. It's don't push me. It's really not safe. Oh, well, it's safe. <sighs> Do you want to go back down? Oh, my freaking lordy lordy. Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'll be stuck. She, she didn't make it. It didn't take... Pass. It, why didn't you have to have a think about that? Oh, look, it's the... Um, less, I don't know which is the lesser of the two evils. Go up that way and try and get a better path. I'll leave you. Oh, sorry, babe. I'll leave you here. I don't know if the path on the way down to the other side's better or not. Oh, okay then. Did you Google it or something? No, I don't ever Google nothing. Babe. Google lies. Fuck. Google lies. Babe, I'm kind of stuck here. Like, why are you stuck? Because I told you why. Why? My legs are like jelly. He doesn't yeah, get it. If you get it out of your head, you'll be right. Oh, ready? it's not in my head. It's in my legs. It's going to be a slow trip down anyway. No. <sighs> it was a slow trip up. Oh, it's going to be slower down. Oh, you'll be you right now. once you get going. What? You'll be right once you get going. <sighs> Your legs will start feeling better on the way back down. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> You're right. There's nothing to hang on you to. You don't need to hang on. All it's... you've got to do is stand up straight, babe. <laughs> this hike begins from the start of the camping area, just after the toilets. The trail is marked with a trailhead sign here and marked along the way with round white tin can lids on the trees. It's a 5.2 kilometre circuit hike through Warren Gorge and returning along a ridge line. Well, I wish we had known that when we first started. The walk follows Warren Gorge between the tower and cliffs. Just ask Kim, she'll tell you along the native pine tree line forest before climbing up to the saddle through the yakas. Something we never ever seen because we failed. But all in all it was great fun. <laughs> Just ask Kim, she'll soon tell ya. <laughs> but absolutely stunning views what we did see. G'day, g'day, g'day guys. We're out and about in corn tonight. Now, it's supposed to be a silo light show. I can't speak too loud because there's a lot of people here. I'll show you. Stand up if you're here. Stand up if you're counted. <laughs> Shit's a fucking toilet. I, I don't know. There's a building here, look. That, that's where the light show's supposed to happen. On those, those there, those silos there. So, 
At the moment, I'm a bit worried. Last night, we couldn't go to the light show. We were at the pub and the power went out. And no, we weren't up the pub drinking. We were having a meal. Yes. Might have had one stuff. One, one stuff. One each. Oh. We're, um... Well, I mean, I hear music. Nah, it's just a hoon going past in Corn. One, one, one thing I have noticed in Corn, they've got overflow car parks. Now, I really don't think it's necessary here in Corn. That land could be put to better use. I really do think that. Because you could run up and down that main fucking street all day long. A blind man could cross that road any time of day, not I can tell over. you, and not get run over. That's a true story. But, but Charm here, we're spoilt for choice for seating. Yeah, no, we've got heaps of seating here. Look, there's one there. Sleepers. And, and, and of course, it's the one we're on. Eh? The one we're on, sweetie. So, we'll get back to you once this light show starts and we'll show you. We, we could be the only people here. Okay. So, we'll guys, get you. we'll get back to you. You know how we went. If all else fails, we have got stubbies in the fridge. Yeah. There we go, guys. We've got action. We're not here for no reason, are no, we, sweetie? There's something, going on. there's something going on. Look, the silos are starting to lighten up. And guess what? We've got friends everywhere. Me? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think you can see them, but anyway. Welcome. <clears throat> My name is Doug Turner. I am a senior Aboriginal elder of the Nukuna community. This place you are on now is the traditional lands of the Nukuna people. The Nukuna are the First Nations people for whom this area is home and traditional lands. We have lived here for tens of thousands of years and we keep our connection with the country, culture and songlines alive today and into the future. This is a free night attraction at the Railway Precinct, Corn, South Australia. Watch a corn silo begin to glow at sunset and spring to life under the stars with the fascinating stories of the region. The half hour show is followed each night by a stunning seasonal showcase of local imagery, photography and art. It is the must see at corn and operates every night of the week. So we've just left the um, Silo Light Show in Corn, yeah. South Australia. They were brilliant. Yep. Learn all about corn and the surrounding areas, all over the years, the steam locomotives, during the war, everything. Very informative, very good. Just like being back at the drive-in, wasn't it? Of course. I've never been to the drive-in <laughs> with you before. No. Oh, I would have parked up the back there somewhere, I reckon, babe. And just one other thing. This whole little town is based on volunteers. Yes, virtually, it yep. is now. But anyway, we'll keep going. We must go home and drink a stubby. It's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cold too. Yeah. Okay, guys, well worth seeing. Yeah. The things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try for